This is Go Math Lesson 4.7, and in this lesson we're going to learn a strategy for dividing using repeated subtraction. Uh, it's a little bit different from your traditional division that you might know, but this is just another one of those strategies you can use. And if you hate it, don't worry about it, because later on we'll talk about traditional division and long division and short division, and those might be a little bit easier for you. However, some people find this way a little bit easier because they can think more in terms of multiplication than in division. So let me show you how to do it. Um, let's say we have a problem like 81 and we are going to divide it by 4. Now, instead of doing the traditional division way where I do it one number at a time, I'm going to subtract multiples of 4 until I can get to 0. Now I could do 81 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 a whole bunch of times until I get to 0 because that's what our goal is, is to try and get as close to 0 as possible. But that would take me a really long time. So instead of doing that, I'm going to take away multiples of 4 that will be closer. Um, I'm going to think of an easy multiple of 4 such as 40. And I'm going to take 40 away from 81. Now this one's nice and easy. The thing I have to remember about this is I have to write down out to the side how many 4's are in the multiple that I chose. So I chose 40 and I know there are 10 4's in 40 because 4 times 10 is 40. Now I just subtract these two. 1 minus 0 is 1 and 8 minus 4 is 4. And I'm left with 41. Now remember I'm trying to get to 0 so I'm going to do it again. My easy one, 40, I can do that one again because I have 41. So I'm going to take away 40 and I need to remember that there's 10 4's in 40, so I'm going to write that in parentheses out to the side, and I'm left over with 1. Now I look at this number right here, I can't even take away 1 4 from that. I can't minus 4, 8, 12, 16, I can't minus anything because I only have 1 left over, so this is my remainder. I count my number of 4's that I subtracted over here, 10, 20, Therefore, my answer is 20, and I have a remainder of 1. All right, let's try a different one. And this one's going to be 54 divided by 7. Now, I like to choose the tenth multiple of whatever my divisor is, just because it's really easy to figure out and it's easy to subtract. However, in this case, my tenth multiple of 7 is 70. And I can't do 54 take away 70. It's too much. So I have to think of a smaller multiple of 7 that will work. And I'm going to think 7 times 7. I know 7 times 7 is 49, and that gets me pretty close. The closer I can get to this number, the less times I have to subtract. So 7 times 7 is 49. I'm going to write 49 down right here, and I'm going to put a 7 in parentheses right here to show that I know that there's 7 7s in 49. My next step is to subtract. So I borrow from the 5, 14. I know that 14 minus 9 is 5, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Then I look at this. If this is smaller than this number, I can't go any further because 7 times 1 is 7, and that's the smallest multiple, and I can't do 5 take away 7. So this is all that I'm left with. Therefore, my answer, I look in the parentheses for my quotient. My quotient is 7, and my remainder is 5. And that's how you do division using repeated subtraction.